Hey guys, we are going to look at staying safe on the World Wide Web and staying safe using email. And I'm just gonna go through this very short tutorial, just give you some tips and some pointers. So, staying safe online. When you are using the internet and you are browsing the World Wide Web, please make sure that you are using a known web browser, like a popular well-known one, Firefox, Chrome, uh, Edge, etc. And don't use any ones that you are not sure of or haven't heard of unless you know that they are legit, okay? And know the security features of your browser. Make sure that you understand what it can and cannot do and how it will protect you. Also, being safe online means do not give out personal information to anybody, no matter who they are or who they are saying that they are. All right, that's kind of important. Don't give out personal information. I would suggest using ad blockers and anti-malware on your computer. I will give you some examples in the resources section in your notebook. But use ad blockers, they block ads, and it actually just speeds up your browsing process anyway. Have two, pass two passwords, two email addresses, okay? Have a general email that you don't really use and have a personal email. Now, you're probably wondering why this is. What I would say is your personal email is for people that you know and for uh, communication with circles of friends, okay, friends and family, so that you can then communicate with people that you want to communicate with and not be bombarded by spam and, and silly messages you don't need. The general email is then for signing up on sites for temporary access to something or accessing stuff where they require an email address and you don't really need to be involved with the site. So, you know, stock images and stuff like that. Okay. Another thing I would suggest is familiarize yourself with the safety and security features of the sites that you use. Have a look at the websites you use. Are they safe? Do they protect your data? And check the HTTPS. Is it a secure site? Okay, HTTPS, Hypertext Transfer Protocol, and the S is for secure. And you'll see that it's got HTTPS, normally has a little padlock next to it as well. Email safety. Right, being safe using email. First of all, don't reply to people that you don't know. Um, especially if it's like, hey, you've just won 50,000 million gazillion dollars, or I'm your uncle in some other country and I've left you all this money when I die. Just let me have your bank details and stuff like that. Don't do it. Don't unsubscribe if you have never subscribed to a mailing list of some sorts, okay? Check it out first, see if you, it's a legit mailing list uh, or website, and then you can unsubscribe if you know that it's legit. Like I said before, have two email addresses. Never open an executable attachment. So if somebody sends you an attachment and it's a .com or a .bat or a .exe, don't open it, okay? Don't open any attachments if you don't know or if you don't trust the sender. Rather have an anti-malware scanning program, scan the attachments before you do anything. In general, just don't open up any executable attachments, all right? And to save yourself a lot of hassle, okay, don't forward spam or reply to spam or hoax emails. Okay, the little kid in hospital with cancer who's going to get $1 for every person you mail this on to, et cetera, all that sort of stuff. It's, it's more often than not a hoax, it's fake, don't send it on. And of course, learn how to use CC and BCC correctly. If you're gonna send an email to a whole lot of people, use BCC, protects their privacy, respects their privacy, and it also means you don't give out everyone else's email address to an entire mailing list. So please be careful with that. And there you go, email safety and World Wide Web safety.